hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this smooth and elegant text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So as always here we are in adobe after effects let's create a new composition and i'm going to call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration we don't need much more duration so i'm going to choose 30 seconds or you can also reduce it further let's say to 15 seconds and background color i'm going to choose black color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on texas action now i'm going to type my text so i'll select this text then let's type our text called motion like that now i'm gonna select this text i'm gonna increase the font size somewhere over here now select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like that now let's go to the text and choose animate and click on it so we will get this animation properties i'm going to choose position for now and let's increase the y value somewhere around over here go to the range selector create one keyframe over here and zoom in a little bit and go to around one uh, one second and 20 frames and let's make this 100 at this point now after that i'm going to select those keyframes and i'm going to hit f9 to easy ease those keyframe then we have this graph editor option over here right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph then select this and by holding shift i'm going to move this one over here and this one over here so if you hit play we will get something like this now again go to the add menu go to the property and i'm going to choose tracking like this and let's increase or let's say decrease the tracking amount like that so we will get something like this also go to the add menu Go to the property uh, let's choose opacity and let's reduce the opacity to zero also go to the add menu go to the property and choose blur and let's increase the blur value to 40 so if you see this animation we will get something like this now i am going to select this text i am going to hit ctrl d again and let's hide this one for now now select this text and let's type another text over here let's say graphics like this now select this text again press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically to adjust properly like that again select this text hit ctrl d and let's hide this and let's type template now I'm going to select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. So we have this three texts. Now we will focus on this one first, like this. Now let's select this text and I'm going to select my shape tool and I'm going to choose this rectangle tool and I'm gonna select this one and I'm going to create one mask on it, like that. Yep, this looks good to me now select this uh, text press ctrl d to duplicate it press m and for this one i'm going to choose alpha inverted mat now select both the text press p for position and let's hit u again go to the last keyframe press p for position i'm going to create one keyframe and go to around three seconds select this move this uh, downwards like this let's enable this graphic layer for now so we have to adjust it properly i'm going to move this over here and this one should be over here like this yep this looks good to me let's hide this graphic again now select those keyframes and hit f9 hit u so let's see we will get something like this and so then like this now I'm going to select my ellipse tool. I don't want any stroke, so I'll delete this stroke. And for the fill, I'm going to choose this somewhere around, let's say bluish color. Yep. And by holding shift, I'm going to create one ellipse. 
then press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this now select this ellipse hit u so, deselect it hit u go over here a uh, shortcut key to jump between the forward and backward keyframe is, is j for backward keyframes and for forward keyframes k so i'll move this over here i'll select the shape layer let's move this over here with the help of open square bracket press s for scaling option initially let's make it zero and create one keyframe and hit u let's bring this downward select this text and shape layer hit u go over here and let's make this 100 this time so we will get something like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 also like that yep now select this shape layer only and press s for scaling options select both the text press p for position and if you want to differentiate between the text or this one uh, with the help of that you can create the color of this layers so now we can differentiate that this is motion text and etc now uh, let's go over here select those keyframes and hit f9 again go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so we will get this smooth animation now after that we have graphics text over here so now we will move this over here because our animation is at this point so it will take a uh, proper time to animate this graphic also hit u again and if you want then you can move these keyframes up to this so we will get proper animation like this or you can move this a little bit over here or you can let's move this at this point like that yeah so we'll get something like this now i'm going to select this to uh, what we call text and press m to open the mask properties go inside this mask one over here you will get this option called mask feather so create one keyframe over here also over here create one keyframe on mask feathers and go around over here at this point let's increase the mask feather to 20 also for this one let's say 30 by 30 let's say yeah now select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here hit u now so if you see this animation now we will get something like this now after that we will select all these four uh, layers we will press ctrl shift c and we will call this at motion graphics and hit ok double click on it hit the u as you can see at this point my animation is gonna end so i'll go over here now we have this template text as we remember now i'm going to select this motion graphic whole text I'm going to create one rectangle uh, I mean select rectangle and I'm going to create one mask on this one also like this select this text pre I mean pre composition hit ctrl D to duplicate it press M again same procedure make this inverted now select both the keyframes press P for position create one keyframe over here go to around five seconds select this move this downwards select this text move this upwards like this yep now i'm gonna select this text over here let's move this over here now also select both the text press m go inside this mask one create one keyframe on mask feathers also also over here like that you can select this text press s for scaling option create one keyframe hit u go around over here you can increase the mask feathers to 30 by 30 and if you want then you can in decrease the scale of them also it's totally up to you if you don't want that's okay i think we don't need to reduce the scale but we can increase the scale like that like this but i think we don't need to increase the scale so let's skip this scaling portion we don't need that and now hit u 
so position animation is done and feather animation is also done so select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and this handle over here so we will get something like this you can move this text over here so it will animate after that let's make this quarter resolution so if you see this animation now as you can see we are getting this edge but if you see this in full animation it's not gonna happen like this and there is another trick that i want to show you can press ctrl y on your keyboard to create the background layer i'm going to choose black color hit ok hit ok and let's move this over here now i'll go inside this motion graphic we have this ellipse over here let's choose black color for this one like that as you can see we are not seeing anything over here what i'm gonna say i'm gonna select all of them i mean these three layers press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and let's call it as animation and hit ok and let's enable this background and now you can select this animation go to the effect and presets panel and you can search for tint effect like that and if you swap these colors you will get something like this now instead of black you are free to choose any color you want like this and if you want to swap these colors you can simply swap these colors and you can change the color you can change the color of this text also if you want the light version or the different version of this font you can do that so right now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select this one a white color press s for scaling option let's scale it like this select this animation hit ctrl d press v let's move this over here press s for scaling option and let's scale it a little bit like that sorry you can either swap these colors or you can change the background color of this one select this text hit ctrl d you can move this over here like that you can change the color of this one to red one or you can choose different colors like that yep so if you see we will get this kind of animations with the simple techniques right click new and create one null object select all these three make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s and let's increase the size of it so as you can see we will get something like this so yep that's it for the today's video we will see you in the next video So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then, stay tuned.